Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is episode four of Big Game Hunters. Hunters. So we've got Jason Berard, Rory McMillan, co-host of Big Game Hunters. What are we talking about today, Rory? What's on the agenda? We're going to be talking about how important cold calling is. Why you should learn how to cold call and pick up the phone and get attention. Yeah, it is... Uh, uh, by far one of the most important skill sets that you can learn. Um, and that all involves around the umbrella of sales. And if you can sell over the phone, you can go anywhere. You can literally go anywhere. Spread your wings and fly. Get a SIM card and wherever it is. If you're in the Philippines, get a SIM card, call over there, sell anywhere in the world. Like Absolutely. That. Listen, we're, we're here to bring you guys today uh, an episode on cold calling what the importance is for cold calling, why you should be making cold calls, how you should be making cold calls, and how you should be monitoring your cold calls after you make them. Why are people so scared of the, uh, why, why do you think people are so fearful of cold calling or think that they're too good for cold calling? Oh, cold calling, I don't know about that. Or it, just, oh, cold calling, I can never it, do that. It's not necessarily a fear, it's just but ultimately it's someone getting out of their comfort zone. Yeah. You know, when first people first get into cold calling and think, oh, customers are gonna say no, I don't wanna take a fear of rejection. Uh, I'm not willing to dial, dial the phone. I don't know what I'm going to sound like. I don't know what I'm going to say. It. It's, it, you know, waiting is not a reaction. It's retreating. You know, at the end of the day, when people are uh, af afraid of cold calling, it's, 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 it, it, they're, they're, they're retreating. They, they, their mind is already made up that they cannot do this. They yeah. cannot cold call. They don't yeah. want to call. They don't want to pick up the phone. They don't want to speak to anybody. Yeah. And that's the wrong mentality to have when it comes to cold calling. You know, if you want to become an effective cold caller and you want to be great at it, you've got to have the willingness, the drive, be relentless, understand your product, understand your services, pick up the phone and make the calls. And that's the thing I think too, I think for the for the most part, people are like, oh, cold calling, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I think the thing is, is because when you cold call someone, you're gonna take a lot of no's, right? No's like for breakfast. You're gonna take a lot of no's. And just like anyone that is, that is successful will tell you is that you can take a million no's, but it takes one yes to change your life. And cold call is a set skill set that everybody needs, Jason. You know, it, it, once you learn how to cold call, once you know, learn how to pick up the phone, once you learn how to make that difficult, difficult call to a customer, a customer that you've been dreading to call for a long time, and you can do that, you can go anywhere yeah. from making a cold call, to going to an interview, to ordering your favorite wine, to negotiating if you're going in to buy a new suit. Yeah. Like when you learn how to cold call, when you learn how to negotiate, you learn how to cold call effectively, you know how to get someone's attention in a very short period of time, and you learn how to close, not just cold call and build impulse, but know how to close. Yeah. It's one of the greatest skill sets you can possibly learn. Willingness. What are the three things you think, Jason, is the key to cold calling? When you first started working with me at Magna Search Group. I was terrible. Um, hashtag. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was Terrible. Yeah. Hashtag Magna on air, Magna search group. Um, he was terrible. And uh, so, but you know, within a short period of time, we got you ramped up, we've got you learned, and uh, now you're one of the most successful recruiters in the city. Um, and uh, what, how, you know, what would you say your key accomplishments were to make make that happen? Like what, what what got you out the fear of cold calling? Well, first of all, like I hadn't really dealt with that kind of rejection before um, in my life. And then, so, so do that, uh, you know, accompany that with the fact that I haven't really cold called, I haven't really sold, but always been, I was the, I was the guy that was like, oh, I can, I can sell anything, which is what everyone who's never sold a thing always says. <laughs> Absolutely. I can sell anything. Absolutely. Um, so I think the first thing was, okay, first of all, knowing that you suck, um, which I did. I was nervous over the phone, you know, stuttering, which is just not who I am. You were shaking. Um, shaking, shaking. Couldn't paint the picture. <laughs> so just couldn't paint the picture sweating. who Jason was, right? Couldn't do that. Just get yeah. shut down left, right, and center. Yeah. Um, so first things first was just tried to get my action up, my uh, uh, my calls up, and just so I could, you know, at least screw up 200 calls, screw them up fast, and learn very quickly. I followed people. I started looking at people like the Jordan Trained. Delfords, the Grant Cardones, um, you know, great salespeople that have just proven, proven success and sort of mimicked, not necessarily what they do, but mimicked, um, you know, maybe their, uh, uh, just their, their philosophy or the ideology towards selling. And I think that helped as well. And I think the last thing was I started to have fun with it, you know, started to come up with my own closes, things like that, and really just stopped caring, right? You're gonna eat no's, you know it's gonna be a no, just take it in. You get that yes, or you get someone that's potentially a buyer, 
you know that you're going to close and your and, and your client or your customer doesn't know that you're screwing up but yourself right the the, the, yeah, the you, biggest person you beat that you, yourself up the sure. biggest person to beat yourself up is yourself when it comes to cold calling right um but you know if you have the willingness you, you have the intensity and you take action you'll you, you will get results why do we cold call so much uh, we have to yeah. you know we have to it's uh we, we 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 make cold calling from an activity into a, a must do you know what i mean it's not a it's not a daily um habit a hobby for us it's something that we have to do because we're focused on a mission we're focused on our goals and we understand our purpose each and every day you know everyone that works here at magna search group the reason we're dominating the market and getting attention and a lot of people coming to work with us is because we're not afraid to pick up the phone we're not afraid to pick up the phone and call clients we're not afraid to pick up the phone and call candidates uh, we're simply just not afraid to pick up the phone and that's why a lot of companies and customers continually contact us and continually reach out that's to quick. us is because they know the level of service that we provide them and a lot of other people in this industry are afraid to do the things that we're not afraid to do. Yeah. And that's just the nature of it, right? Is that uh, um, we come in every single day, we have purpose boards in each people's office, and we're on a mission for greatness. Uh, and that's why Jason Jason survived the Magna Academy, and uh, not too many people was do that, survive the Magna the Academy. <laughs> uh, the only one that survived the Magna Academy. But once we put you through the Academy, we got you up to speed and we got you up to running. Um, you know, we, 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 we set him on a track for success. And, and, and how we did that was, um, t teaching him the systems, right? First, understand why you should be cold calling. First, secondly, understand what is the cold call going to do for you? How is it gonna get revenue in your pocket? And thirdly, follow the systems, follow the process, continue to understand what works, what doesn't work, and recognize that fast, immediately, quick. Yeah. And role playing, first thing in the morning, first thing in the afternoon, calling on weekends, training, 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 training. The only way LeBron James got to be where he is today is through training. The only way Tiger Woods be able to become the number one player in golf is because he trained, he was he the practiced. first one to work out, he did right? that. Nobody training. sees these actions, nobody sees these activities, no one sees his daily routine, but training is, is a key part of becoming exceptional at anything that you do in your life, whether you're co-guiding, you've got to practice, you've got to look at code scripts, you've got to, you know, work with someone, or you've got to get a leader or a mentor, you know, you want to become the best uh, person at carpentry, you've got to learn from the best carpenters. It's it, it, it's it's it, it's an art, it, 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 it's a creative art that we learn here. It's, it's interesting the point that you said about no one sees those things. I think that when we see the successful grind. people, Wow, it's just there for them, right? It's just there for them. It's just there it's for easy them. for them. You don't see the three to five to 10 to 25 years of relentless effort that those people have put in to get something successful. Um, you know, someone like Donald Trump, he went bankrupt, right? He went bankrupt and crawled out of where he is to be, you know, as, as successful as he is. You look at people, like you said, LeBron James. How many free throws has LeBron James practiced in his life? Right? Or was he just got? Did he have this God-given gift, and he's just you know, oh, he's got it made for the rest of his life? I think it's it's one of those things where I bet you every day he's practicing every single day uh, and getting better. Kobe Bryant, same thing, no no, no God-given gift. Right? In order to get where he is today, the reason we bring this up is he did things in his life that he didn't want to do. You know, there's cold calls that I don't that I have to pick up and do every single day that I don't want to do, but I know that I have to do them to get to where I need to be. Um, you know, we're all on a mission, we're all on our goals, we're all hungry, we're driving, we all have a purpose in life. You know, everyone has a talent, not everyone knows how to use their talents or is, get, or is, has, or is in the right vehicle with the right mentors to fuel, to fuel, to fuel, uh, to fuel that talent and to fuel that energy. Um, is 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 going back to like cold calling. It's like you need to learn how to cold call. You need to learn this skill set. You know, you're going to be picking up the phone. You're calling your friends. You know, um, you, it could be anything. You know, you, you you're calling to negotiate your uh, uh, you know your hydro contract. You're calling to negotiate your leasing contract. You know, you got to call a customer and a client. You're on a conference call with 15 people. You need to be willing to pick up the phone, get out your comfort zone, and bring conviction into your voice and get someone excited. And I think the other thing too is you know people some people might think cold calling's dead we're in the emailing age now um but even still you don't send an email and wait for a response right no um it just it's just gonna take too much time it's not the client's job to get in contact with you it's your job to get in contact with them they're too busy in their day yeah. right you gotta you you gotta take the mindset away as it's not their job to call back or email you back or any of that it's your job to get in contact with them until you get them on the phone until you speak with them you know we don't we, we we don't dial for dollars here we do strategic calling we know what we need to we know what we need we know who we need to speak to we're very professional on the phone we provide consultative services 
services to Fortune 500 companies all around the world. And we've created a skill that only the 1% of the successful people in the world can do is, is, is sell and pick up the phone in cold call. You watch the Shark Tank, you watch the Dragon's Den, every single successful people that you speak to that you hear about at some point in their life, they had to make a cold call. They had to do some dirty work. They had to get out of their comfort zone. Yeah. They had to dial, they had to find the willingness. And they did it because they're on a mission to get where they need to be and nothing's going to stop them. Like, and it's, it's just one of those things where it's eating nose, right? So if it, it, you have to eat the nose. Uh, Jack Canfield, I think it was, the guy who did uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, his stat was something like, you know, 140 no's from publishers. And wow, goes, so that's the Salone, right? How many, how many times do you have to bang on doors to sell Rocky? Sold his dog, he had to sell his dog. I know. Right? To get the money to build Rocky. Next thing you know, it goes back to the convenience store and buys this dog because, back. Like that's that's purpose, but that's energy, but that's a reason, ambition. There's a, there's a very important reason that you can eat the nose and keep going. And that's because you either believe in yourself and believe in your product, believe in your service. You can learn to do this. Honestly, you can go anywhere. Just have the willingness to do it. Train with the right people. Get in the right vehicle. Find the right person, the right manager, the right leader that can do this himself. If he can't do it himself, go find the next person that can do it and go follow them. But once you learn the skill of cold calling, you can go anywhere. Elevate the game. Reach out to us. Let us know some cool calling stories. Hashtag Magna on air. Comment on the video. This is episode four. Big Game Hunters. Rory McMillan, Jason Berard, Magna Search Group. We'll see you next time.